I think the risk all of us can make in this competition is being too complicated. Um, Ali certainly run that risk with his dish because he had lots of elements. You have to get it spot on, otherwise it will show up in this competition. Uh, I've got quite a, a lot of ingredients in my dish, but they all really complement each other. It's actually showing different skill, it's showing different techniques. Uh, all in all, I think the dish kind of blends together well, and uh, obviously we'll wait and see what the judges think. It's time for Alad to plate up. He starts by laying the potato cake and onion puree. Then he places the loin of mountain hogget, adds a garnish of asparagus, peas, broad beans and morels, and finishes with a confit rib. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, yeah. Really nice. It's a celebration of Welsh produce. That's what I remember. It doesn't quite sing of summer to me. It's, it's, it doesn't have quite the, um, that jollity and spring-like feeling that I want from a dish. I can just feel my arteries being coated in the most divine fat. <laughs> <laughs> Your lucky arteries. Just heaven. I like the little pie-type thing with a braised meat in it and the little diced vegetables. I think it's really tasty. It's got a real sort of nice sticky taste to it. It's very sticky, isn't it? And mm. it? But it's less fatty than... The, I remember the last time it was a lot fattier. I complained about it, yeah. Yeah, mm. I think that's much better. I, you know, there's a lot of very nice flavours going on here this time. And the vegetables are very minty and fresh. There's this beautiful smooth onion puree, which is, again, a sort of classic accompaniment, but it's been and done such in such a refined way, it becomes part of the sauce. And the morels, you know, they have that wonderful sponge-like ability to soak up everything. And they've soaked up the gravy. It's delicious. For my money, this is probably the best representation we've had of a producer dish. The per I th honestly, this has been... The producer is so enormously well represented mm. on this, uh, in this dish. When I first ate this dish, there seemed to be in, in a sort of... Uh, not a black hole, but a sort of vacuum at its heart. And that was the loin. If you remember, I... To me, it had absolutely no flavour at all. And I, I don't know what he's done, but this loin is an absolutely sort of perfect piece of meat cookery. I think it's a very accomplished dish. I think, you know, it's a chef who understands flavour, first and foremost, and it's something what is, is the most important thing in cookery, flavour. Yeah, I think it's great. It's lovely. Great. Lovely. Well, well done, Alan. Well then, gents, the man himself, we have the Hoggett's dish. Oh, look at that. So, will his rivals in the prep room be as impressed as the judges? I think this would be, a, you know, a very suitable dish for Prince of Wales because obviously the Prince of Wales Welsh lamb. Mm -hmm. The mint's really nice in the sauce. I just yeah. got that. I like a bit more fat on the loin, to be honest. It's almost a bit lean. Yeah. I think one of the criteria that the judges are going to be looking at is: mm. it, are we going to be able to replicate that dish for a mm. hundred? Mm. And for that, I don't know if we are. No, I think we struggle with that one. Alad's a very, very, very good cook. And I must say, I'm very, very impressed. For me, he gets a real good score of eight. I loved this dish. I think Alad has done Wales proud. Every part of that hoggard is just so beautifully prepared. And not alone is that parcel delicious, for me, it's the chop. That little chop is just fantastic. It's eight. You're right, that dish has enormously improved. The puree was just crackingly good, and I'm giving it an eight. The flavour had improved enormously over the first time, particularly in the loin and the chop. Oliver, you're right about that chop. I would eat that chop to the grave, and for that reason, I'm going to give it an eight.